Hey, Homestead Prepper. Uh, today's project is going to be pulling out a blower fan motor. The blower wheel, I'm going to use it for a project. This uh, is not exactly something uh, that's going to be repairable. I, I, actually, I've used this in another video, but I'm going to pull this uh, blower cage out. I'm actually going to use it for an exhaust fan. It should move about, mm, I think this is a two and a half ton or three ton thing. It should move somewhere between 1200 and 1500 cubic feet per minute. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to pull this out. You get a flashlight. Um, now of course you know yours might be on its side but it still is going to work the same way. If you look right there you can see that that screw right there with the lights on and that screw right there. Not, not these but those two right there. You pull those out that thing should slide out. Now uh, you of course need to make a, a note, notation of the wiring, but this is a 240 volt or 220 volt, whatever you want to call it, uh, blower motor. And these two wires, it doesn't really matter if you stick this one on this side or you swap them. Now if you have a circuit board or if this is a 110 volt motor or a three phase, then, then it makes a difference. But for your typical application, like this old crappy one right here, it doesn't. So let's just see how we can pull that thing out of there. I mean you can you, you it's uh, just five sixteenths. You can uh, you can use a nut driver, it would come out okay. The screw gun just makes it a little bit faster. Alright, and let's get in here and see that thing. Now that's all it did guys. That just, just slides right out. And that's how simple it is. Okay, well I'm going to hook this up and make sure it's working. This has been sitting outside for some time. It needs a, a good cleaning. If this is one of the older style, you can put oil in it. Some of the newer style, they don't have a place to put oil in them. But you never want to put water in here. I probably want to blow that out with uh, compressed air. Let's look at the, the blower wheel. Well, I guess it looks a little nasty. I only want to clean that up too. All right, well, let's just make sure it works. Okay, I've got some temporary wires hooked up to this. Now, I highly recommend you guys don't do this because this is not grounded and this does not meet uh, National Electric Code. But for testing purposes, I have it uh, wired here in the panel on this breaker. So I'm going to flip this breaker and we're going to give it the smoke test and see if this thing works or not. So let's uh, flick the breaker. Oh, I guess it works. Right. That thing puts out a lot of air too. Alright, let's cut it off. Uh, undoubtedly, some of you people out there are probably wondering how to take the motor out and take the blower wheel off because you have uh, motor problems. Uh, I, I'm going to use it like this. Uh, I thought about taking it all apart and cleaning it up, but if I did that, it would probably run about five minutes and then I'd have to change that motor out anyway. So, uh, and, and like I said, it's just for a, uh, an outdoor project. It's nothing critical. If it were my own home, if I was pulling this out of my air handler uh, that I use you know, every day, <laughs> then of course I would clean it up and do it properly. But this is for an outdoor project. But um, the first thing you would want to do is you'd want to see the horsepower which this is a third of a horsepower and this is 1075 RPMs three, a three speed motor. Now I don't recommend upping the horsepower. If you do that you'll get uh, sometimes a vibration and if you lower the horsepower it, uh, it won't throw enough air and it won't cool your house or heat your house properly or whatever. Uh, the three speeds refers to you've got a black, a red, and a blue and the black is high speed and the other two are low and medium speed. And you have a capacitor like it says right here this takes a uh, uh, 5 microfarad capacitor at 370 volts. So if you get a new motor, it, it the old capacitor may not work. Always buy a new capacitor that matches the new motor. 
and I mean you could put a new motor in here it's five microfarads and this one could run for five minutes and then you know you back to square one uh, also if your motors not run it at all you can try changing out the capacitor and that might get it going but if I were to um, going to take this apart here first thing I would do is put some penetrating oil on there PB blaster or whatever you whatever you like and I would unscrew that thing right there and a, a special note is when you put a new motor in here and you've got a new shaft you've got this flat flat spot right here what you do is you crank that thing down upon the installation and then you back it off and then you re-crank it down again and that seats it and that'll keep that thing from coming out of there a lot of people don't know that uh, I had to learn that the hard way also some of you are going to want to change this motor out and these things are going to be rotted or the new motor is not going to come with these little things on here and you need a blower wheel kit and it's a thing that fits around here it clamps on and then you take uh, self-tapping screws and you re-screw the thing in there so uh, when I get ready to change one out I'll, uh, I'll do a more in-depth video but I'm just trying to give you all a little heads up now this blower wheel looks pretty crappy it's got old mold here so I'm just going to clean it out like this the proper way would be like I said to take it apart and you know I guess get a water hose out and clean it but this uh, air conditioner came out of a house that was built in 1988 and I replaced the air handler in 2009 so and this has been sitting outside in my junk pile for eight years oh excuse me seven years so and it still works so these are pretty tough little items right here okay guys well if y'all have any questions feel free okay if anybody was interested my project is I'm trying to ventilate a shipping container you can see these I'm, I'm a northern tool website you can see that they kind of get a little pricey that's probably a little bigger than what I need this one would probably do it the one I really really liked these two right here and then this one 5500 cubic feet per minute that would give me about mm, two air changes a minute because I think the shipping container is about 2500 cubic feet and this would probably give me enough air I could work in there but you know you look at the $400 price tag and then you look at the shipping and that's an additional $117 that's $517 or a fan now now granted I could you know get a lesser fan uh, I am getting a lesser fan with the blower fan but I'm also going to be saving a lot of money and in my book prepping and survival is making do with what you have on hand and I just happen to have something free on hand that's probably going to give me an air change in my shipping container mm, one air change every two minutes now I have uh, some more squirrel cage fans and I could you know get down to one air change a minute or I can even get down less by adding them so anyway guys that was uh, that's what this video is really about is saving some money